What up, Alchemist? In this episode, we're going to be using a utility created by Dave Thomas called Mix Templates. We're going to use it to make a template for Phoenix 1.3 that uses Webpack 2 instead of Brunch. The app is broken up into two separate utilities. The first is Mix Templates, and it's responsible for processing and downloading templates from Hex. The other one is Mix Generator, which uses those templates to create your projects. Let's install both those on our system. First one we're going to install here is Mix Template. So we're going to install the archive from Hex, and it's called Mix Templates. Let's reach out to Hex, download it, ask you if you're sure. I am. And then the other one we need is Mix Generator. So same thing, but it's called Mix Generator. Great, we've got those both installed on our system. Next up, let's create our Phoenix skeleton that we'll use as a baseline for our template. So this is the Phoenix 1.3 um, generator. And we'll call our app replace me um, so we have a good entry point into what strings we need to replace to turn this into a template. And since we're going to install Webpack, we'll say no branch. Uh, we don't want to fetch the dependencies. I've prepared a Webpack asset folder, so I'll copy that over right now. I'll throw that in the root. Now that we have our skeleton ready, um, we need to go through and replace all those replace me um, names that Phoenix generated for us with the types that mixed templates will expect um, to replace in your project. I'm going to go ahead and use Vim to do this, but you can use any search and replace editor you're happy with. You can um, even use command line if that's your thing. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use Vim here. Open up Vim. I'm going to grab all the files. Okay, I've loaded all the files up into my buffer, and now I'm going to go ahead and replace the strings. Search. So, first, I'm going to replace the module names. <coughs> and we're, Mix Templates uses EEX, so we're going to use an EEX variable here. do global and then we're going to pipe that to the update command which will just save um, all the files that it actually did the replace in alright now I need to replace one more thing I need to replace the lowercase. And instead of camel case, that will just be project name. Let's go ahead and look at the mix file. Make sure we did it right. So you can see up here, module name. It's got project name camel case, perfect. And down here under app, it's got the, um, so this is an atom. And it's got that lowercase version. Looks good. Since Mixed Tiplants also uses EEX to evaluate files, if you have any EEX files in your template um, and you have variables or function calls in there, um, you'll want to edit those. And I'll show you how here. So, our layout app one. So, right here, the project name camel case is fine, but right here, we're calling static path, path function. Uh, mixed templates will try to evaluate this and throw an error that there's no function called static path. 
So what you need to do is just add an extra percent sign here. So when Mix Templates evaluates this, they'll get rid of that extra percent sign and um, you'll still have this for actually Phoenix to evaluate. Let's add those in there. And save that. And there's one more file here. And I believe it's just here on this get text. I don't think there's any more. The other thing we'll want to do is since we're using Webpack, we'll want to set up our watcher in the dev environment so we'll get some auto reloading going on here. Let's go to the top of this file. Our watchers, let's edit that so we can get some nice auto reloading going on. Uh, run that in dev. And go into, oops, let's go into our path here of assets. should be set up. That way Webpack will watch for changes in our file system and reload those for us. Last thing I want to do is generate a, a secret. So since we ran the Phoenix generator it generated a secret for us. Um, but if you're, if you're using um, system environment variables you would just change that to this, but for our cases now, we're going to just generate one each time. So I'm basically going to do the same thing that Phoenix does when it generates the secret. We'll call it to Erlang Crypto. We'll do strong rand bytes. And we'll do a length of 64. We'll base encode that in code. And then we'll just grab the binary part. Starting at zero and sixty-four land length. That way, each time we run our template, it'll generate us a new um, secret key base. The project is in a pretty good place to be used as a template now. What we'll need to do next is download the template for creating templates from Hex. So let's go ahead and do that. Quit out of them. And let's get to the root here. Okay. So we're going to use template install. We're getting this from text and it's called template for templates. There we go. Now that we've got that installed, let's use generator to generate a template for this. And let's call it why not webpack. This will give us the basic structure for a template. And now we can copy over the Phoenix template that we created earlier. Let's go ahead and do that. Get to our Webpack directory. Let's copy, replace me. I'm going to grab all the files. We'll throw that in template project name. And now let's move the template project name. Lib, replace me. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going to move these files so I can rename it with the project name structure. That way it will be dynamic when we create the template and it will use the, na the actual name. So template project name lib and I need to escape that project name. Let's escape that. Perfect. 
Let's go ahead and give this template a try. Mix our root here, do mix gen, we'll pass it the directory of our template. Why not webpack? And we'll call our app Phoenix Webpack. So this aired out, and I wanted to show you this um, because what's going on here is EEX is trying to evaluate um, a binary file in images, which is the phoenix.png file. Um, I'm working with Dave Thomas to be able to create like a whitelist for these type of files that they'll just get copied over without being evaluated by EEX. But for now, you'll just need to um, get rid of them. So let's go ahead and delete those out of um, our template here. So template, project name, it's in priv, static images, Phoenix. And then there, we also need to get rid of the um, the icon file here, which is in template, project name, priv, static, fave icon. And then let's delete the beginning of that. And give that, oops, and give that another try here. Now with those binary files gone. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get our dependencies and create our database. Go ahead and grab our NPM dependencies. Let's go ahead and fire up our server and see how this all worked out. See that Webpack is building our assets, copy them over, and it's watching the files. Awesome. Switch over to our web browser. There we go. We can see that it's up and running. And let's make a change real quick. Oops, open up Vim. And let's just alert hi from Webpack 2. Save that file over here and, and we can see that it definitely caught that the file changed and it should have reloaded our app. Come back here and sure enough automatically reloaded and Webpack 2 compiled it and everything's great. So that's how you use Dave Thomas's um, mixed templates to create a template for a Phoenix project. Um, if you find yourself making lots of changes or you kind of have a default stack that you run like to run on Phoenix, uh, definitely take a look at this tool. It will make bootstrapping your projects a lot quicker and less repetitive. Um, you just build one of these templates one time and um, you can throw it up on GitHub and you can download that and generate your project straight from GitHub. Very awesome tool. Um, highly recommend checking it out and giving it a try. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to help you out um, with any Elixir problems you have. You can get a hold of me, Corey at Schmidt at me at email. Um, you can reach me on Twitter. You can also reach me on the Elixir Slack. Just send me a private message in there. Uh, my name's Corey on there. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future screencasts, just hit me up on those avenues and I'll take a look and see what I can do. Or if you just want to hang out and chat, get a hold of me. Love to hear from you. Thanks.